Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, today we're gonna take a look at this here Max, inspired by the X Max from Traxxas. This is also a Traxxas vehicle. Um, there's a lot of information out there on these things, a lot of places you can look. Um, but there's a couple things I wanted to talk about that you really don't get to see anybody else talk about. Um, so with this truck, you're able to run 3S LiPos in it, and that's awesome. But we wanted to run the big battery, obviously. But what we noticed when it got here was, this is the 3S's that we run in our TRX4's. And you'll notice that that plug is a lot different than this battery's plug. This is the battery that they say you should run in the Max to get the most speed out of it. But take a look at that plug. It is a lot different than that plug. Well, not a lot different, but certainly a different shape. So that meant that we couldn't charge our battery because we got to get a special charger for it. Well, a stronger charger, I should say. Which is no big deal because we could still run these and it is plenty fast enough. It is actually a little scary how fast this thing is. Um, fired it up in the house when we first got it and I was like, whoa. But, uh, so this thing is incredible. It'll pull wheelies as soon as you pull the trigger. Um, you do need to buy the battery separately. Um, you'll need four AA batteries for the remote. It's got steel gear dif differentials. 12.9 uh, wheel base. It's about 10 pounds. It's got just insane parts in it. Like this fan that covers the motor keep it cool while you're running um this fan that covers the esc for the same reason it's got this massive servo steering servo inside of it um this thing is just insane it's insane you can swap out the wheels it's got these little i'll try not to create too much of a mess here but if you could see it's got like these blue things these are actually spacers so you can use different size wheels on it um i think i've seen people using kind of like slash tires or something on it maybe udrs i'm not sure there's uh there's some close-ups on the inner mechanics there look at the size of that steering servo it's <laughs> insane um there's really not much to say about this truck there's the shocks, that's the towers, they redesigned these I guess, made them stronger. And this thing just really, really tears up the yard, it's pretty awesome, a lot of fun to play with. I was out a little bit earlier playing, I'll get some videos up soon of this thing kind of trashing the yard. And But you need a lot of space because like it'll cover this yard in a blink of an eye, it's really really crazy I mean there's really not much to say about it it's it's an expensive truck with a uh, $550 price point on Traxxas.com and then the completer pack with the charger the correct charger and the battery is another $210 give or take I'm sure you can find different different websites that carry it um, we got this from a main hobbies along with this battery just because we love aiming um but i think if you're growing in the hobby this is definitely a great truck to grow into um we started off with our trx4s we just got the slash yesterday that thing's a lot of fun to rip around but this thing we wanted something that we could like just launch into space and let it come crashing back down without stressing too much about breaking everything on it and 
that X Max is a lot more expensive when you get down to the down to it. I mean, the, for what we paid for this is what you get just the truck for the X Max for, and you need the batteries and the charger for that too. But um, might likely end up growing into that truck as well. Uh, they say that the skill level is four, three to four for this truck. Um, I can agree with that because it definitely wants to take off on you. It does have like a self, uh, like stable, I, I guess it like helps you keep it straight. Um, I can definitely see that thing working. Uh, I've ripped it up the road quite a bit. It flies. It does every bit of 40 mile an hour. Um, you can smash right into the, right into the off-road terrain, right from the street, and it takes it no problem. Uh, I've rolled it over a couple times. It's got these great plastic parts on the top here. You'll see they're kind of chewed up. But um, it really saves the body, that's for sure. And this thing just takes a beating. It is pretty incredible how strong this truck really is. Um, I like the way that they did the body mount. Like, you kind of kind of got to dip this down and then shove it in. And then this back locks in, too. It's it's pretty cool I mean here let me get the battery tray out of the way I'll show you so you push that in slide it forward and this drops down in the back and you can see there's like a clip system right there so you drop that down and you flip that to the side and she's on there you're not getting it off especially if you're doing you know like 30 40 mile an hour over a hill and it goes <laughs> you'll be all right but um one of the main things i definitely wanted to say was about these batteries these are the batteries next to each other obviously this one is massive but i wanted to point out because there's not a whole lot of information in regards and I'm sure most people probably know this but we're kind of newbies to the hobby so I wanted to point this out to anybody else that might be new to the hobby you're gonna need a specific charger for this because this thing needs a lot to charge so so that's gonna be the quick video on the max I'm gonna get some videos of it running soon here um, been having some issues with the weather has been kind of nasty lately so but it's starting to clear up so, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.